Ghost Chase 5. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? It's CIA Chris here. And today's video consists of my predictions of week two of stage two of the 2021 CDL season. This week of games starts this upcoming Thursday and goes through this Sunday. All right, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. And for the first matchup here, we have the Dallas Empire versus the Paris Legion. This series, I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Dallas Empire. This is a very strong Dallas team, and they are still second in the standings. Paris, as of late, has been on a losing streak. They have seen losses to both Optic and Florida recently. The Legion will be fired up as they are a good team that has had. The Legion will be fired up as they are a good team that has been losing, but they will not have enough. The Legion will be fired up as they have been a good team that has been losing, but they will not do well enough to secure this series. I don't think. And for the next matchup, we have Optic Chicago versus the Minnesota Rocker. This series I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Optic Chicago. This is a strong Optic team that is currently third in the standings. Rocker has also been swept multiple times this season. They have also been struggling to win and are currently ninth in the standings. I feel the Optic should have no problem here taking the W over Minnesota. For the next matchup, we have the LA Thieves versus the London Royal Ravens. This series I will be calling 3-2 in favor of the LA Thieves. London won their first series last weekend. It was a 3-0 too. They seem much better as a team so far with Paul X. Them being capable of a sweep now makes me believe that they will be able to take maps on the Thieves. Although, I still do think the Thieves have been underperforming so. They most recently choked a series for Sublines where they were reverse swept. They will be fired up and have lots of motivation to win here, which is why I'm calling the series 3-2 in favor of the LA Thieves. It should be a close series as London is looking better with Paul X, but I still think the Thieves are the more talented team. And for the next series, we have the New York Subliners versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This series I will be calling 3-0 in favor of the New York Subliners. The Gorillas lost their last matchup. They were swept by London last weekend. The Subliners are also a really good team that is currently 4th in the standings. The Gorillas really not look that good. They have 3 total series wins, one being a major upset versus the Thieves. I feel that Subliners should have no issue winning this series handily. And for the next matchup, we have the New York Subliners versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I will be calling 3-1 in favor of the New York Subliners. This is a really good Subliners team as I stated before. I also think London is kind of a wild card now. As stated before, they have been looking a lot better with Paul X. I feel that they could potentially upset some teams now, so I had to give them a map here. But I do still feel that Subliners are the more talented team overall, so I have to award them this series. And for the next series, we have Atlanta FaZe vs LA Thieves. This series, I will have to very sadly call 3-0 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. Lost full. The act of losing full composure from unforeseen circumstances that are beyond one's control. Atlanta FaZe is currently still undefeated at 10-0. They are also still currently first in the standings. The Thieves, on the other hand, have not looked the greatest. They've been losing series they shouldn't lose and have been choking immensely. I love the Thieves, but faces look too dominant and they've choked too many series to call this any other way. And for the next matchup, we have the Toronto Ultra vs the LA Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Toronto Ultra. The Ultra have looked better after their roster change involving Insight. The man has been playing absolutely nuts and he even dropped the SD kill record versus the Thieves last weekend. LAG will also be coming off losing a series 0-3. They are also not the greatest team. I think it will be very hard for them to bounce back here. Neither of these teams is the greatest though, so it shouldn't be a blowout regardless. And for the next series, we have the Paris Legion vs Seattle Surge. This series I'll be calling 3-1 to one in favor of the Seattle Surge. Octane, my boy, you did it. I refuse to lose this series. This is the first time I have called a series in favor of the Seattle Surge on my channel. Surge has been killing stage 2. They won a series last week and they also almost beat Empire. They took them the absolute distance in a map 5 round 11. Paris, on the other hand, has been unable to close a series. I feel they will have the same issue here when trying to close maps. This is a strong Paris team though, and Surge still isn't the greatest team, so I think they'll be able to take at least one map. Octane, my boy, I will not be pouring one out for you this week. And for the next series, we have the Dallas Empire versus the Minnesota Rocker. This series I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Dallas Empire. This is a strong Dallas team that is currently second in the standings. This is also a struggling Minnesota team that has been swept multiple times and is currently low in the standings. I do not feel that the Rocker will be able to bounce back versus Empire after facing a loss to a team as good as Optic Chicago like that. And for the last series of the weekend, we have Optic Chicago versus the Florida Mutineers. This series I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of Optic Chicago. This is a very strong Optic roster. They have been performing well and are currently third in the standings. Florida also hasn't looked that great. They lost to Surge last week, and their most recent win is versus Minnesota, who hasn't been doing too hot. They have also not shown the same level of dominance they did during MW. The Mutineers are not horrible though, and Optic is not the greatest Surge team, so I feel they should be able to secure the s &D here and make it 3-1. Alright guys, CIA Chris here. As some of you may already know, I went to Disney World for spring break.
since I was going on vacation right before this weekend of games, I recorded this video on the 22nd. I realized that since I recorded this video, some teams have made roster changes. These teams being the LA Thieves and the Minnesota Rocker. I have since updated my predictions and will now be going into my changes. The first change I will be making is in the Optic Chicago vs Minnesota Rocker series. This series I will now be calling 3-1 for Optic instead of 3-0. As of yesterday, Minnesota has picked up Sandy and Bench Major Maniac. I believe that after this change, they will come out looking like a better team. I feel that they will be able to take at least one map after this change, but Optic is still the better team. The other change I will be making is in the Atlanta FaZe vs LA Thieves series. This series I will still unfortunately be calling in favor of FaZe, but instead of a 3-0, I will be calling a 3-1. As of yesterday, the Thieves have benched Temp and picked up Venom. I think that after this change, the Thieves will be able to secure at least one map on FaZe. But with FaZe still being undefeated and first in the standings, I still feel they are the better team. This is why I'll be calling the series 3-1 in their favor. For the LA Thieves vs London Royal Ravens series, I feel the Thieves are still the more talented team and will still take the series in 5. For the Dallas Empire vs Minnesota Rockers series, I think this still will be going 3-0 in favor of Dallas. Dallas has looked like a very solid team and is currently still second in the standings. Even after making this roster change, I still do not think the Rocker will be good enough to take a map. And now for my updated power rankings. In 12th, the Minnesota Rocker. In 11th, the Paris Legion. In 10th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. In 9th, the Florida Mutineers. In 8th, the London Royal Ravens. In 7th, the Toronto Ultra. In 6th, the Seattle Surge. In 5th, the Los Angeles Thieves. In 4th, the New York Subliners. In 3rd, Optic Chicago. In 2nd, Dallas Empire. And in 1st, Atlanta Phase. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm super excited for this weekend of games. And as always, of course, I hope the Thieves play well. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Alright, but as always, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below and leave a like if you enjoyed. But until next time, it's been CIA Chris. Hashtag 100 CCIA. Peace.